golf. It's rained something like 18 out of the last 21 weekends. So my last trip out to the boat, as you remember, it was raining pretty hard and not a lot got done. The sun finally came out and here's the story of what I got done. This is my mezzanine mask. Step on bottom of it doesn't look too bad. Everything else looks all right. Just start getting work on the rigging here. Let's go see if we can find the main. This is mine over here. Here's the top of the mast. Got to get that existing cheap clipper wind instrument off. Get mine mounted on there. Run all new wiring from that anchor light all the way down. Man, that's a big mass. Let's see how the step on this one looks. Not too bad. Here's all my old wiring I've got to get out. Today I want to share a really big announcement here on the channel. If you've been following along and you know that we've got SV Rock Talk t-shirts. We occasionally give them out to new subscribers. Well, we've got a new product to share with you and that's what I want to do today. So here we are. I'm really pleased to announce our new SV Rock Talk baseball caps. They're really good high quality caps. Got a nice firm brim. SV Rock Talk logo on the front here. And to promote these hats, what we're going to do is, this week, we're going to pick one of the new subscribers to give one of these hats to. So if you're watching the video for the first time, or you're watching for a second or third time and you hasn't, haven't subscribed yet, now's the time to do it. So go ahead and hit that subscription button, and one of you lucky new subscribers will get one of these outstanding new SV Rock Chalk hats. I'd like to take a break here at the channel from all the action and ask you if you enjoy what you see here on the channel, go ahead and hit that subscription button. We'd really appreciate it. Also, give us a thumbs up. The positive feedback is always enjoyed. Inside the boat, I explored the two mass steps. Here you can see the forward bilge area where the mast step is. 30 years of gunk and corrosion have really taken its toll. Talking about taking a toll, this is the main mast step. It's so corroded that the fingers used to bolt it to the keel completely disintegrated when they took the mast out. And it's got 30 years of crud falling down the top of the mast completely filled that mast step up. After some elbow grease, grinding, and two fresh coats of bilge paint, this is what it looks like now. This is the mezzanine mast step, which is in the aft head. The same story here. 30 years of crud stacking up inside the step. Also, it seemed to get a lot more water down the mezzanine mast, and it is designed to drain into the shower pan and then be pumped out of the shower pan into the aft bilge. So if you're not there at the boat for any extended amount of time, you come back and that shower pan is constantly full of water. On top of that, whoever installed the mast step managed to clog up the drain rails underneath that step. 
so the water would then flow over the top of the mast step. I'm going to fix that. The solution I have is instead of having that drain into the shower pan and then be pumped into the bilge and pumped out again, I'm going to see if I can get that shower pan sump to just pump the water overboard. More on that when I get around to fixing it. Here's that mezzanine mass step removed. After some grinding and elbow grease, it's all cleaned up. And yes, I gave this two new coats of bilge paint as well. This is the top of the main mast. I have all the cables and stays marked so that we can take them off and get them back on in the right place. And I'm started to remove all of the cotter pins. My first job at the top of the mast was to remove the old clipper wind instrument that never worked. If any of you are thinking about buying one of these, don't waste your time. For after three and a half years, I was never able to get it to calibrate. Plus, it's a NEMA 0183, so it's really not going to work with a lot of your new uh, navigation instruments. So just don't even think about it. After removing it, I then also pulled the old cable out of the mast. But on before I did that, I ran a new messenger line on the end of that. So that I've got something to pull lines back out the other direction of the mast. For today, the last thing I did at the top of the mast was to remove the piece of silicone caulking that plugged the hole where the messenger line and the VHF line and any other instruments run down through the top of the mast. Now the last thing I did on the mast today was to remove the seizing wire keeping the cable and rigging attached to the end to the end of the spreaders. Now the last thing on my to-do list for this week is to make some sawhorses so that the yard can lift the mass up, set them on the sawhorses, and make it easier to work on. So, off to the lumber yard I went, pick up some 2x4s and some sawhorse kiss, kits, and make up three sawhorses so the yard can get that accomplished for me. Once again, thanks for stopping in here at the channel. We really appreciate it. If you haven't done so, Go ahead and hit that subscription button. It really helps out. And remember, this week, one lucky new subscriber is going to get a free hat. So check back in and follow what's going on. Thanks a lot.